The field of brain-computer interfaces is growing every day, with many interesting companies challenging Neuralink and Elon Musk. But today we take a look at a special challenger created by none other than an ex-Neuralink co-founder. Hey, welcome back to the Dairy Monkey, here it's Paolo and if you have followed Neuralink's news, you might probably remember that a few months ago in May, Max Hodak, one of the founders, left the company. In a move that surprised many people and left them to wonder what was going on inside Elon Musk's company. From his past tweet, we learned that Hodak was willing to dedicate his time to new things. But it seems to have returned to the topic of brain-computer interfaces. So what happened is that Hodak founded a company named Science Corp, which raised already around $47 million in funding. Hodak seemed to have brought with him a few people from Neuralink, and the company is hiring others too. A healthy start for a startup indeed, but how are they planning to challenge Neuralink? Now, honestly, we're still in the dark when it comes to this company, but what we can guess is that they're planning to use light. Technically speaking, ScienceCorp might rely on a technique named optogenetics. Optogenetics is interesting because it's a different approach to how to interface with the human brain. Neuralink's approach is that you stimulate and record the brain via electric impulses. Basically, you implant electrodes physically in the brain, and these electrodes can record or stimulate the brain. But with optogenetics, the basic principle is that we edit the neurons' genes so that the neurons can be light-sensitive. And then the magic happens. By shining light onto the neurons, we can control them, we can actually sparkle some activity in the neurons. Sounds science fiction, but it really isn't. To explain it briefly, neurons communicate basically by exchanging ions with the surrounding fluid. And these ions pass through specific channels located on the neurons' membranes. With these modified genes, the opening and closing of these channels can be regulated with light, thus allowing us to control the neurons' activity and, in general, controlling the brain. But wait, there's more! because this technique can be used also to read the brain's activity. That's right, it's bidirectional like Neuralink Solution. Neuralink Solution, that is, where you can not just stimulate the brain, but you can also record the brain's activity. Because if we can modify the neurons to be light sensitive, we can also modify them to emit light under certain conditions, basically making them fluorescent. And then we can detect them with specific sensors and reconstruct like this the brain's activity. Now, optogenetics is still a nascent technique when it comes to brain computer interfaces, but it's gathering more and more interest. In fact, another company expressed interest towards this direction, that is Open Water, a company that was created in 2016 by the inventor Mary Lou Jepsen, and is working on brain computer interfaces based on optical principles like holography. Now, how is this technique going to be translated into an actual portable and safe device, that is going to be a challenge for the future. And oddly, Max Hodak himself seemed suspicious in the past regarding optogenetics, expressing doubts on safety in a tweet from 2019, when he was still working for Neuralink. But sure, something is going on at Science Corp, given how they might already be looking into animal trials. Will Max Hodak surpass his previous company? We will see, but let me know your opinion in the comments, and if you're interested in knowing more about Neuralink's competitor, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.